All right, today we're gonna take a look how to make this professional box mock-up with the perspective warp tool. I gotta work with this image with the Kanye West shoes and I gotta go and remove these graphics with the almighty generative fill. So I'm gonna select, for example, the number five and I gotta go and click on here, generative fill, click on generate. After you remove the unwanted elements, you can press control shift plus E. So basically you're gonna unite all the layers in one. So by the way, I also recreated the background and this is how it looks. I'm gonna unlock this layer. We're gonna need to calculate the size of this box. So I'm gonna go here to the eyedropper tool, long click and select the ruler tool. All you need to do is click on one of the edge and drag it all the way to the opposite side. And here at the top at L1, you can see the dimension. You can see the length of the box. You can see it's 2392. I gotta select the type tool and just type it in there. I gotta put the text here so I know exactly the size. Select the ruler again, and I'm gonna drag the side of the ruler into this direction. Now, of course, I cannot see the full box because it's cropped, but I'm gonna try to eyeball it and I still need to measure the height. So I'm gonna drag it here. Now take that in mind that these measurements are inaccurate because it's in three dimensions. So the sides are getting compressed and distorted. And now we're gonna need to make the shapes of the mockups that is going to be eventually replaced. And for that, I would select the rectangle from here and click here. And all we need to do is basically type in the size of the rectangle. The width is gonna be 2392, basically this value right here. And the height is gonna be 1747, click OK. I'm gonna change up the fill to some gray. Basically, it is going to fill up the whole page, which is not good because we also gonna to need to add this size of the side and you know the other size from the other side. So I'm gonna delete this and we're gonna to need to create a separate artboard for that. But first, I'm gonna convert this into an artboard. So I'm gonna select the bottom layer, which contains the mockup, which is the full size image, basically. Right click on it and let's go up and select artboard from layers. Click OK. And now we transformed it into an artboard. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to put it here. And let's go and long click here on the move tool. And you can see the artboard tool. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to draw one artboard, one big artboard actually right here. So basically those rectangles are going to fit in here. As you can see here, we got the second artboard and the first artboard. And I'm going to go and work on the second artboard. Now let's select the rectangle, click and type in again the values and click OK, change the color. I gotta go with gray. I also gonna add a really thin stroke. Now we're gonna make a new rectangle, select the rectangle again, click, and I gotta change up the height, 754, click OK. And I'm gonna position this right under the bigger rectangle. And from here, I can create another copy from this rectangle, press and hold Alt, press Control T, press and hold Shift, rotate it 90 degrees, and position it right here, press and hold Shift, and put it like that. I'm going to delete these numbers, select the rectangles, press and hold shift, select all, right click, click on convert a smart object. I'm going to rename it, also the layer, click on the smart object layer, and let's go to edit perspective warp. And from here, all you need to do is just select this rectangle here, make sure to match. And now you can create another one from here and make sure to connect them. There you go. And another one on the left side. And also zoom in and make sure to correct these little issues. So it's gonna look pretty much accurate. From here, you can click on this checkbox to click on done. And what I gotta do is drag this layer into the artboard number one above the box. So now I can delete the artboard number two. I gotta select the smart object and I can work with this here. I also gonna decrease the opacity to 50 so I can see through. Now from here, we're gonna need to reactivate the perspective warp tool. So I gotta go to the smart object and here you can see the perspective warp, double click on, and it's going to highlight the grids. Now let's go to the upper left corner and you can see here the layout and switch it to warp. Click on it and from here you can select these dots and before applying any customization, take that in mind that this setting is going to need to load up and it is going to freeze down Photoshop for quite a bit, so be patient. So from here I can drag these little circles and warp them accordingly. It looks like a messy job, but uh, you need to be patient until you put them to the right place. So you drag, you push it back again, and you drag it again, and basically this is how you work with it. After you're done, you can click on the checkbox, 
make sure to increase the opacity back to 100. Now, of course, you can go and change up the blend mode here. But in my situation, I'm going to go with the normal because of the dark box. And from here, I'm going to double click on the smart objects thumbnail. So it is going to open up in a new tab. And I'm going to go and copy paste some design I did in Illustrator. And I'm going to position it on the top. I'm going to select another one. And I'm going to uncheck the rectangles. From here, I'm going to go to the file and click on Save. And basically, this is going to save it into the other tab right here. So click on it and it looks something like this. I still need to do a couple of things in order to make it realistic because right now you can see all the design looks like basically solid vector color with no texture. So I'm going to double click on the layer. And here we got this handle at the underlying layer. And if you pull it, you can see it is going to make some of the light areas disappear. So I'm going to press and hold Alt and you can break this handle into two. And I'm going to bring the right one down and bring the left one up. So play around until you get the right result. You also can mix up the left one. There you go. Click OK. Another thing I would highlight that this side of the box is blurry and it gets sharp and also this side is blurry or this top part is also blurry. So what I'm going to do is go to the filter blur gallery and I'm going to select the field blur. I'm going to work with the field blur because I don't understand how the shadows are going on here. So I'm going to put one here, another one here. This area is sharp, so I'm going to decrease the sharpness. I'm going to add another blur here, another sharp here. I'm going to add another one here maybe and check that out. I'm going to click OK. And this is how I make this awesome mock-up here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.